Hello, I'm Lima Alpha 6, November Charlie Alpha. In this video I will show Torn FU VN. I'm now located in Denmark and I will try to make a call to Norway. In this video, we will try to make radio contact from Denmark to Norway using a German military radio from World War II. The radio is a torn.fu.b1 made in the early 1940s. It was used by the German Wehrmacht for short-range field communication. This radio transmits on the 80-meter amateur radio band, and the power output is only one watt. I am currently standing on a beach in Denmark. The goal is to call a station in Norway across the sea 430 kilometers. The distance is long for such low power, but during sunset, radio waves can travel much farther. This is due to better ionospheric conditions on the 80-meter band at this time of day. The Torn.fu.b1 has a built-in antenna tuner, and I am using a 48-meter wire antenna. The radio is fully original and in working condition. It is powered by a 12-volt power adapted to the original battery box. Let's see if this one watt signal can cross the sea and reach Norway. Here we see the antenna. It is a 5 8 wavelength wire attached to two fishing rods. The length is 48 meters. This is an optimal length for such extreme distances. Checks that everything works. This antenna is easy to tune. A distance of an impressive 430 kilometers. I tune the antenna with the built-in antenna tuner. The transmitter is already set to the agreed frequency, 3,590 kilohertz, using the mechanical lock system. I call LA5MT. This is OZ slash LA6NCA over. Will it work? Exciting. Absolutely amazing. He heard me. He responds with our call signs, OZ slash LA6NCA. This is LA5MT. He says that RST is 529, which means he can hear me very well. A bit weak signal, but with a nice tone. There is interference on the frequency. It helps to attenuate the signal a little. He sends our call signs. My call sign is OZ slash LA6NCA, where OZ means Denmark. We can transmit from almost any country by using the country code first. I send that, I hear him well. RST 559. Readability, strength, and tone. I am sending QTH is Lugster. That is the place I am transmitting from. We use many such Q codes to shorten the transmission. I thank him for the QSO and send 73, which means best regards.
There are incredibly good signals from Norway. He says he receives my signals just fine. He thanks me for my report and for our QSO. He sends 73, which means best regards. He sends our call signs. Morse code is a very efficient and reliable form of communication. I will now show you how my signal sounds in Norway. The contact was successful. My signal reached LA 5MT in Norway, using only one watt of RF power. Transmitted on 3,590 kilohertz in the 80 meter amateur band, during gray line conditions at sunset. The radio used was a German torn dot few dot B1, a field transceiver from World War II. A simple wire antenna was tuned with the built-in antenna tuner. Power was supplied by modern batteries adapted to the original battery box. Using authentic 1940s equipment. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and feel free to leave a comment, especially if you're a collector, radio amateur, or WW2 radio enthusiast. I read them all. Thank you for watching.